Hi, I'm Will Dalton and this is GW News. The Alsom Open to France has got underway today at Le Golf National in Paris. And with nine of the world's top 50 players lining up, we have a fantastic four days coming up. Praise has been pouring in for Le Golf National, which looks in marvellous condition. And we spoke to some of the French contingent before play started about how special it is to compete at home. You know, the, the, the French is always a special uh, tournament for us French people. It's a big, uh, big tournament. It's uh, it's a tough course. It's uh, usually a lot of French people that I know because I used to live around here. So it's a very special for m moment for me every every time. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, it's a good uh, tournament. Uh, the course is in great shape, I think. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a good event to play. For me, it's one of the toughest golf courses of the year. It's very difficult. You need uh, to hit a very straight uh, from the tee to the green. And uh, I love this golf course. I think it's one of the best tests of, uh, of the year and uh, and I'm happy to play in France because he's now to play with the crowd. Also congratulations to David Howell who today has become the second youngest player to compete in 500 European Tour events. The Englishman has racked up five wins on the Tour including his most recent at the Dunhill Links last year where he beat Peter Uline in a playoff at St Andrews. And finally, we can't leave you without another Ice Bucket Challenge. Here's Charlie Hull and Camilla Lenart's effort. Three, two, one, go. We've been nominated by Anna Norquist. Um, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I nominate Colotta Siganda. Well, that's all for today. Join us again tomorrow for more GW News. And in the meantime, you can find us on Twitter at GolfingWorldTV. And we're on Facebook and Instagram. Bye for now.